know <laughs> it's, true. it's true. It's <laughs> true. He parties, he drives, like it's a multifaceted being. And Falco's there too. He flies. That's even Falco better. Does fly. Fly into that grand finals during this set. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we already got a nice little scramble situation from uh Braden and Toad knocking Riddles off the platform and then getting a little bit of a uh, chip damage in on him. Falco definitely doing really Falco does well at like breaking into some Sonic. Oh my goodness, but I definitely did not want to hit that up smash on the riddle. That was not the effective. But you know, if you're you're not Braden and Toad here, you're taking that to the bank. Yeah, absolutely. That's a we take those moment. And uh I like from Braden there not opting to back throw and hit his teammate away. Oh, Riddle's getting half a birthday combo there. <laughs> Oh, the ooh. Yeah, no SDI in sight. And ooh, unfortunate. I think maybe a body block going on there. Uh, may have just been like a missed angle on the up -heat. Just slightly, yeah. yeah. And now we've got uh, Grape once again stock tanking. That seems to be his role just kind of in general on this team. Riddle's the front line, Grape is the stock tank. But he does a great job at it. Even in singles, he plays kind of similarly, where he'll just kind of wall you out. So uh, it's yeah. really tough to kill him. Yeah, Riddle's on the Terry. Obviously, Terry has a bunch of kill power, but I think generally Snake is like the more consistent kill option with like, you know, like your up tilt and all that. And obviously with the Snake grenades, you're going to attack on a lot of damage very quickly. That's very true. You also take a lot of damage, though. If you do trade with the grenade, you take the damage from the grenade and the aerial. Um, and that's going to be Grape's first stock. Riddle's at 100. Well, Riddle's now Ooh, Riddle's but dead. Oh, stuck. damn. Okay. Oh, he's going to get down. Oh, but he had his jump. He had his jump. Nice saving of the jump from Not Brayden there. Smiley face is intact on his tag. Right, and uh, oddly enough, you're actually seeing the um, the underdogs taking stage control more often than Red Team here. Uh, definitely much more effective in doubles when you can control more of the space. Than stage. Exactly, exactly. Like, there's definitely a lot of situations where the two players are just ledge trapping the other two players. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah, it's a rough position. Yeah. Oh, gonna trade with the up tilt and lose his stock there. Now we've got a 2 1 on each side. However, percent lead for green team for sure. But win condition. <laughs> win condition is activated. Now, one thing that uh, is worth mentioning is Terry is more difficult than doubles because you don't automatically turn around. So you do kind of have that extra layer of thinking of which way you're doing your inputs. Well, with the SD Ooh. from Toad there, that's really important because Falco is. Take yeah, we are going to have <laughs> a share stock situation, so now this is actually looking great for Green Team, despite the ISD that just happened. Now, at a quick 50% here. Yeah, Mario's got those combos, he's going to rack on the damage, but uh, Grape holding on to his stock for dear life is more important to know. But as this goes on, it's definitely looking more and more Grape and Riddle's favor, as you know, they are the heftier characters, so they want it to go on for longer. This is true, and also they have more kill power in general. Falco needing some sort of confirmative backer to actually get the kill off. And Mario only really up smashing. Which, to be fair, there are a lot of confirms in the back. It's there. true, it's Falco, true. So. Oh, Ooh, no, gonna shield it, and that's not gonna be a kill on Terry. Heavy enough to survive. Trying to land here on the snake. Air dodge still likes the air dodge was so smart. And the up smash once again, not killing Terry. Riddle's just tanking everything right now, but that dare is gonna take Grape out, and this is an advantage for Green Team. But as we've seen during that last set, this is definitely still a... <laughs> this should be a free punish. Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, we've taken game one. That is a large upset yeah, so far. Riddle's not throwing, realizing that he's going to get punished anyway. So mm -hmm. he kind of had to sit there, pick a god and pray. Also, don't believe that Terry really has any good throw hitboxes, so I think he couldn't even have used that to save himself. Like, F throw yeah. would not have gotten him out of that tangle yeah, there. You'd have to, like, do some insane timing to, like, use a throwing bone. It had to be, like, a yeah. super hard pull-up from both ends. Exactly. Good from Toad and not Brayden to close that out. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, it's looking good for them. This might be a long set. <laughs> Definitely was very, very close. For sure, yeah. And I think we can expect more very, very close games like that. Absolutely. I hope so. <laughs> it's so exciting. Always Smash better to watch. Build. Now, I know in singles, Snake really, really likes Smash Hill because the C4 hits below the platform as well. It's true, it's true. So, he can kind of just cover the entire center of the stage, so it's going to give Riddles a lot of space to just corner the opposing team. Mm -hmm. And that's where he wants to be because he's just clearly the strongest player in Canada. <laughs> but Mario also really, really likes Smash like, Go back to, like, even to, like... 2019 with like Frostbite when we saw Prodigy versus Galeo. True with the, yeah, the just, combos and off Pileo the side. Just absolutely, or, uh, Prodigy just absolutely just straight up Galeo. <laughs> as you see right here, the big combos, yeah. Yeah. 77 already. It's 
very nice. And uh, Rill's not really responding with anything back either, just kind of landing, so they just take that to the bank. Now, Toad already has 73% even after just like a couple grenade hits. Mm -hmm. very, very quick. That is just one of the strengths of Snakey. He's always going to be rack on damage, even without trying half the time. The up tilt misses the back here. Yeah, maybe a little bit out of the percent rage there, or just messing up the jump height, but it's all right. They're still holding percent lead pretty solidly, and that's going to be Riddles' first stop. Yep, landing with that back here. Oh, good spot dodge from Grape coming out to dodge the Falco Fair uh, landing hitbox and get that F tilt off. It's going to score them some stage control. So you know we got the C4 on the middle platform. Definitely gonna... It's pretty much free center stage control. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that's what I was talking about before. Now Riddles can corner both of them without really worrying about them getting behind because of the C4. Shield. Yeah. Very fortunate it wasn't on Riddles this time. Oh, push off the side! Oh, that's a 32% oh death from Riddles. That's huge for green team. And to kill off the top on Grape, too. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No, not great looking super good. Suddenly, this is a dominating performance. Maybe we shouldn't have slept on them earlier. We! Oui. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have slept on them earlier. You're right, I didn't. We're going to get some Falcon combos, but just opting for the, the quick up tilt back air, which is good in doubles because you're not uh, extending the time that your teammate can... Yeah, sorry, yeah. their teammate can save them. Yeah. Sometimes the quick and simple combos are good enough. Yes, exactly. We're going to get some oh, Snake and Ledge here. It's yeah, great. Kind of just letting uh, Riddles die off the side. They're not really helping him out despite Mario doing something that took a little bit of time. Oh my goodness. The down air, double down air. Oh, it's oh, the side jump! Oh, that was so clean from Toad. Toad, you are so good at this video game. Wow. Oh my goodness. That combo was insane. It's going to hit up his sponsor in DMs and be like, do you see what I did? Can <laughs> 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 I get my laser? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the uphill is going to kill. Yeah, it's a, not impossible 2v1 at this point, but it's definitely an uphill battle. Yeah, as I was sort of talking about in game one, uh, Falco does a really good job at anti-zoning for Snake. Because obviously you have mm. the reflector, but also all the time. Yeah, that grab. you cannot afford to do a throw in a 2v1 against Mario, because he does have forward smash. But yeah, the uh, Falco has shined for reflector grenades and like the Gita's and up smashes. Mm -hmm. But also, side B is just such a good whiff punish tool against Snake. Because like if Snake throws out like a preemptive down tilt, you can just whip punish with side B on reaction. And you get a, like a full combo off of it too. Very true. All right, gonna go town and city, get a little bit of a bigger stage, you know. Yeah, bigger stage, smaller sides though, which could yeah. come into play with uh, the Snake F tilt, any of Terry's oh, moves, or the, or or the double Roy, Roy with side B at 50. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> they've decided, they've made the change. We've seen the characters, we've seen the stage, we know the plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've seen this in singles, we've seen this in doubles. This is universal for I want to cheese you. It is you. inevitable. Yeah. <laughs> no, Grape immediately running off stage, <laughs> probably thinking he was on the other side. Now, something that is interesting is that they are completely different characters than Snake and uh, Terry. Yeah, absolutely. So, Snake and Terry, definitely, like, Snake obviously a much more of a zoner, and Terry obviously much more of, like, a combo, like, super, super kill you type character. Yeah, like when a little you go Roy, you just, you're trying to <laughs> jab as much as possible. <laughs> they said, what if Terry, but with a sword, and also two of them? <laughs> yeah, we just take Snake out of the equation. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Snake clearly wasn't working, uh, Falco was holding off pretty well, and Mario was getting a lot of clutch kills on him, so it, it was just working out better to just have the offense. But now we have some kills coming out, we actually lost Grape's first stock there, Green Team still holding lead despite the character switch. Oh, and that back here gonna catch the lead there. Oh, that was clean. Now what you will notice is Riddles is just completely coming out ahead. Lowest percent, still has all three of his stocks, doing a lot of percent to other people. Not gonna close it up. Now, Grape at 100% here it has to be very, very careful. Ooh, the grab, the back throw, not gonna kill. Him yet. Not quite. Uh, Falco is not the cheeser on this stage. However, that Nair oh, still gonna be back with the air dodge. Yeah, very, very clean air dodge angle from Riddles there. If he messed up even a little bit, he would have definitely not made that. Kill that first stock there from Raiden. Yeah, and Red Team finally has a lead. I think pretty much for the first time in the set. Yeah, absolutely. Although percents could say otherwise, both of them are potentially going to lose the stock right now. Yeah, it could be one, like, full, like, full intense, right? Oh, my goodness, 
Dash tagging his Falco, but he's still gonna make it back. Great with the side beat. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, when you're at like a, when you're at like 150 percent, you know, it, you're just kind of playing Riddle, so anyone will kill you at that point. Yeah. And here's where we're seeing kind of like the top player gap. Riddle's still got all the stocks, closing out everyone's stocks, even his teammates. <laughs> you really have to do something about this Riddle stock. Yeah. Because 170 percent is definitely. Very rough, especially with Roy with Rage. Like, watch, we're probably gonna do like a side field, side blast, or side field for the side stage. Yeah, and even though we hit Grape with it, uh, Riddles is going for those down tilts. He wants these tech chases. The extended hitbox that Grape hit onto an operating shield actually flipped the Riddles, and that's how Riddles lost the stock. That was super unfortunate for him, but he's still the healthiest player on screen by far, and it's basically an even game because of it. Yeah, Riddles been eating his veggies. <laughs> oh, and the forward tilt can pull out that stock. No, it's the last stock here for Toad and not Grape. Counter pick is actually working out pretty well, but definitely not out of it. Yeah, and we do have to consider how well would this counter pick work if they don't have Town and City. Yeah, exactly. And also, Grape at 100%. So. Yeah, he's he's definitely killable. It's definitely not over. Uh, not Brayden and Code have clutched out sets already today. Yep, just right there. That is Grape stock, stock, and that's Sheer Stock, and Riddle's almost Riddle. dying from that up throw back air. Oh, up smash catch the landing, not gonna kill. Okay, this, this is still looking very doable. Oh, the upset! That's not gonna kill! Barely living! Riddles' DI is insane today! He's been living all these hits at really high percent. Oh, but that backer killed at 100% mid-stage. Oh. Maybe you can't say the same for not Brayden's DI today. Or Royce is very strong. Both are possible. Now, if... If he gets Riddles' to stock off yeah, here, it's so doable. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness. Fire. That's gonna be it. Ooh, jab, jab, F smash. Kill. smash. At like 60%. Absolutely. So, uh, so the Roy and Town City counter pick, I guess, it just, you know, kind of worked out there. <laughs> Wait, turn the tablet back on. <laughs> so I wonder what the uh, oh, counter pick is going to be for Toad and not Braden here. I'm predicting a Smashville ban from <laughs> Craven Riddle, going to be honest. Yeah, probably, probably. Probably like Smashville Battlefield, because uh, mm -hmm. both of these characters like the ladder. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Absolutely. Or might go for a stage with wider blast zones. Very possible, yeah. Especially if they're going to stick with the double Roy. Nerf Roy's power a bit. However, they do have, I believe it's character after stage, so they do at least have a oh, choice. Really? Or at least that's how it used to work. I don't know if they still do it like that. but I know like the general rule for like most Smash games is just... Uh... You know, character first, then stage, but like no one really follows that rule, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to small battlefield. Okay. Okay. Good compromise. Pretty neutral stage, honestly. It doesn't necessarily benefit either team too much, so... Although Mario can ladder pretty well on this stage as well. It's the same thing as battlefield, just without the top five. Mario Alto! Snake! Like we're the voice Snake. Okay. Changing maybe... up the pace of it. Great probably just didn't feel as Roy performed well enough that game, but uh, Riddles is definitely did, so... Riddles is starting to cook a bit. Yeah, I'd imagine that's probably going to be the character he sticks with for the rest of the doubles. If Riddles keeps cooking with this Roy, he might get a job here. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to call out the punish uh, with the up the armor. On that approach. But it just looks like it's one person gets bullied by Riddles, and then Grape gets bullied by whoever isn't that person. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Like Mar yeah, Mario and Falco definitely very good, uh, kind of, kind of anti-speed characters. It's true, it's true. They have such great combos right there, but falling after the tenor. Wow, C4 actually blowing up. Oh, but the oh. C4 blowing up again in not Braden's face. He pulls out that stock. Yeah, Grape trying to shut me up a little and saying, hey, like, I can still kill them. <laughs> I still am Snake. Oh my side okay. <laughs> Very, very good. And we're still getting a ledge trap situation here. Uh, Raiden is fighting off Riddles, but he definitely needs to help out his uh, brother, question mark, I think. <laughs> I'm not certain. Yeah, sometimes you definitely just want to like drop the edge guard and just go help your teammate. And leave you exactly, and that could have been a scenario where it would have been nice. But no deaths from it, so we're still fine. Or that was a death on him and a death on Graves, so now we're just uh, seeing, once again, Riddles holding that stock. But Toad still so hasn't died dead. either. Oh, there we go. I lied. <laughs> And now, Green Team only down a full stock here, so it's not like the biggest deal in the world. You just gotta play like a bit more patient, you know, not yeah. get clipped by anything too big. It's just all about being in the moment and getting the percent on that you can. Oh my goodness, about Riddles with these juggles, getting a clean 43%. Yeah, see, like I mentioned earlier, reflecting the up smash it has such high value. Yeah, it's very important, especially when you're getting ledge trapped by the up smash. But that forward smash! Yep, catching the tech in place. 
And now we've gotten back to an even game somehow. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Disregard the last five <laughs> seconds. Oh, no. Okay, that almost killed me. Center stage, gonna have to be wary about that. Ooh, Jair's gonna kill at 99 after a hit. That's unfortunate for Toad, because he needed to hold that stock if he wanted to stay in the game. Yeah, it's kind of, like, Falco definitely is on the lighter side of the cast, so... Absolutely. Have to be a little bit more careful. And that probably contributed to why uh, Riddles wanted to be Roy so bad, because he kills off the side, which is where the fast falliness of Falco doesn't really matter as much. Yeah. Because if you try and kill off the top, it's like, fast fall. It's like artificially heavy, yeah. Oh no, but not when you get clipped by that. Oh, second time of the set, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's on, uh, I think it was game one. Mm -hmm. Gotta respect that. Oh, but gonna get Jared again. Riddle's looking really good here. Everyone in kill percent except for him. Yeah, if they close out Brave stock here, it'd be really, really good for Code and Brave. Yeah, it's still doable. It's definitely still doable. But obviously you have to do the task of taking Snake stock. Yeah, which is no it. easy That's feat. Very oh. And once again, a C4 is going to take it out, and that throw combo into Snake's up air is going to take the game. We're under game five here, Casper. <laughs> oh no. Not again. Is the Riddles Roy just that good? It's possible. He is the master of squad strike. He is. I don't know if you've seen his performance at Majors, but uh, yeah, first place. Didn't he win, didn't he win like, uh, it was like Pounder Genesis. Yeah, whatever the last big tournament was, he beat Leo. <laughs> yeah. Riddles just the master of characters, I see. Obviously, also has the pocket Kazuya, which I don't think we're going to see. Yeah, not in doubles, at least. Mm -hmm. Definitely expect some in singles today. I want to see him laser some people and uh, break their necks and stuff. Yeah. So it looks like the characters are finally locked in. We got Mario Falco. We got Snake Roy. And we're going to Hollow Bastion, which is like very similar to Smashville, but there's more room mm -hmm. for like ledge traffic options. Yeah, it's definitely not too bad. Uh, not, not really different either. Like, they can still do ladders. Snake can still control the platform. So, uh... Both teams seem to be comfortable. The laser almost making Grape immediately SD, yeah, which is funny. So <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> like uh, bruh, are you going to make it? Grape's been doing a really good job at just, like, getting grabs at early percents with, like, conditioning with grenade explosions and everything. Yeah, it looks like they've kind of just chosen to do two 1v1s yeah. in their own way, which really helps because they're both, like, the higher-seeded singles players for sure. Oh, but uh, Brayden's going kind of crazy right now. Nice 73 on Riddles. Like, it is still, like, the Smash World layout, so Mario still does get, like, a bunch of conversions. Yeah. <laughs> it did! Falco's not heavy enough to survive Roy's carnage. And oh. that's gonna be Mario's stock, too. Oh, oh wait! Is oh, wait. Not, it's not, not quite. It. Good early up B from Riddles. Drifting back to the ledge there. Very you can actually... The variations on how far you can drift with Roy's up B is actually insane. Yeah, because he has a lot of, like, horizontal options, yeah. but he can also just go, like, hard up. Well, getting like the perfect hard up is so hard because you might actually get like accidentally get a reverse up Exactly. And there is a C4 on ledge, Braid's gotta respect it because if he keeps trying to mess with Grape on ledge, he could just get blown up. I think Grape's opted to kind of just like put himself in the corner and make it so Riddles gets to do whatever he wants on the other side. I'm so surprised that up air from Alco did not build. Same. <laughs> Crazy. I Finally, edge guarding riddles though. Stock, but like down a bunch of percent, which is yeah. which not insurmountable. These are both combo based characters. Oh, that was so sick! But it, uh -huh. it killed Toad instead. Oh my no! Goodness. Reflected the up smash from Grave, and it still hit uh, Toad to close up that stock. And I guess because it was reflected, it was strong. Yeah, exactly. Snake up smash, not the strongest smash attack in general, but it definitely it packs a punch when it's time to reflect on it for sure. Now we're just getting once again like the two one v one sort of thing. They're they're holding each other away from their teammates so they can't help them out, and that's where they were shining before. No, walking into the back of a snake up tilt, I'm gonna die at one twenty six. We've got a, a massive lead, and that's gonna be Toad stock. No, now Brain's gonna have to clutch up here. Want a chance of getting that grand finals? Yeah, this is uh, possibly the tallest mountain I've seen anyone have to climb all day. Fifty-five percent. That is huge, especially with the range. This is oh, destroying no! kill percent. Oh, the charge F smash is going to close it out. Grape and Riddles completing the reverse throw and going to secure a spot in Grand Finals. Yeah, it was the first two games kind of had them worried a bit. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it was just 